Welcome to the China Open, and it's the final of the women's doubles between the youngsters from China, Bai and Niu, and their opponents from Singapore, Jing and Li. And we join it in the second game. The youngsters having won the first game 21-17. And it's the Singapore pair serving. A score, four points apiece. This final, of course, the best of three games. My name's Don Parker, sat next to me, Jill Hammersley, former European champion. Jill, I suspect it's going to be very difficult for anybody to beat any of the Chinese players. Yes, the Chinese women team are, are, are formidable and uh, they've got so many excellent players and so many youngsters coming through as well. As, as, as I think we've got about um, nine players in the top 20 in China. And it's by serving. Heavy backspin. Very fast accelerating wrist brushing underneath the ball. And that is a great backhand there on the diagonal. All the players will be looking to try and get in with a hard ball as soon as they can. They'll be trying to follow in with a, a, a good short service and then follow in either with their forehand or their backhand. And it's interesting to see New stingling underneath the table, the service she likes her partner to do. And there, the ball just catching the leading edge of Bai's bat. But still, it's the youngsters who lead 8-6 in this second game. Bai now with her final service in this sequence of five. Yeah, she showed her a partner the type of service she was going to do, so, so then she was able to follow up with a, a forehand topspin and therefore winning the point. Ying and Lee, of course. A very experienced pair in their first Pro Tour final. They are the current Commonwealth champions. And Lee managed to reach the semi-final of the, of the Olympic Games in Sydney and indeed win the women's singles title at the recent Commonwealth Championships. So the youngsters up against two very good players. I'm just a little bit surprised that um, she's serving quite long uh, and therefore the Chinese girl is able to get in very easily. Uh, in doubles, you, you must try and keep the, the service as tight as possible, therefore not allowing your, your opponents to get in quite so easily. Lee there mistiming the forehand topspin. She stepped round well, good footwork, but again, the ball catching the leading edge, going off the end of the table. By just overhitting the forehand topspin. These two youngsters have made a very impressive start to their doubles career together. This is their third Pro Tour event. The previous two, they were the winners in Sweden and Croatia. So looking for a hat-trick of titles. Another good backhand topspin there. There's an awful lot of spin on that. It's sometimes very difficult to see on a TV screen, but there is a very large amount of spin. Again, the service just drifting long. And the pair from Singapore able to take the initiative, but still a four-point lead for New and Bai. There was a lot of backspin on that ball there. Um, the Singapore player not able to really read how much spin was on it. Again, heavy backspin. Lee having all sorts of problems reading the spin. 15-9, final service in this sequence. That was a great block by Lee. She anticipated the direction well, punched it down the line. And now Lee with her five serves to come. And what a time for the Singapore pair to take five points with the serves. But they fail on the first point. And of course, this final, the best of three, by and new, just need this game to take the title. Yeah. 
that was a great return from by read the spin well feigned to put the ball wide down wide down the forehand at the last minute adjusted the angle of a racket deep into the backhand and the surprise element taking the point Again, that long service allowed the Chinese to get in, but uh, the Singapore girls playing well, taking another point. That was great play by the youngsters from China. The long push return wide into the forehand, inviting the topspin, the counter topspin from New. And now, by serving, by new leading 18-12. By just over hitting the backhand topspin. And again, new indicating with the signal under the table the type of service she would like from her partner. The tactics clearly worked. The heavy topspin deep into the backhand of Lee. And now a mountain to climb for the two players from Singapore. 19-13 down. Oh, and what a great forehand flick there. Um, she did a very good service with hardly any spin on the ball. It popped up and she got a great angle wide on the forehand. Seven match points. And there it is at the first time of asking. By and New win the second game 21-13, having won the first game 21-17. And now we go directly to the final of the men's doubles. It's 11-8 in the second game to Wang and Nan. And Wang and Yan took the first game, 21-16. Wang and Yan, the current world champions and indeed Olympic champions, and so the players on screen. Ma and Liu certainly up against a formidable pair, albeit an all-Chinese final. Twelve nine. Wang Li Chin, world ranked at number one. Liu Gu Sheng on screen, ranked at number five. Marlin, number three, and Yan Sen down the list at number 36, but certainly Yan Sen, the most successful doubles player in recent history, having won over a dozen ITTF Pro Tour doubles titles, somewhat of a doubles specialist. But he missed a fairly simple forehand topspin there. Nevertheless, Wang and Yan leading 13-10. And of course by one game to nil. As in the women's doubles final, this final the best of three games. Oh, and what a great forehand there. They were both uh, counter-attacking there, but um, Wang got in with a beauty. So much speed and spin wide on the forehand. And what a great point that was. Of course, not only are Wang and Yan world and Olympic champions, they're actually defending their title here in China. Should, of course, be pointed out that Liu and Ma played together twice. It's a fairly new combination. The two times they've played together, they've been victorious in Sweden and Poland. But at the moment, finding the going tough against Wang and Yan. What an absolutely fantastic rally. Topspin against topspin away from the table. Sadly, the point had to be won by a fortunate edge ball. But nevertheless, that was absolutely table tennis of the highest order. And certainly delighted the Chinese crowd. Great forehand topspin by Yan Sen straight down the line. Liu Gu Sheng expecting it on the diagonal. And it's Liu Gu Sheng now to serve. 
Oh, and another great forehand. The footwork of the Chinese are absolutely superb. They're always in the right position to play the right ball, and that was a great shot with a forehand played from the backhand side of the table on the diagonal. Again, Wang Li Chin displaying excellent footwork, getting round on the backhand side. One of the most powerful forehand topspins in the game. He is, of course, the current world champion individually, as well as in doubles. And he now serves. And what a brilliant flick that was. I mean, he was there like lightning. It was uh, a very short ball played out to the edge of the table, but he was there in a flash, and what a great winner that was. And that was a great topspin from Yan Sen. Penhold grip play, but there he used the reverse backhand technique, turning his back round, whipping it over with the reverse rubber. A new technical development by the Chinese pen grip players. Tries it again, didn't quite come off. And now Wang and Yan, two points away from defending their title. Wang with his last service in this sequence. And Marlin misreading the spin, thought there was backspin, lifted it. Of course, it was the float service, the service with no spin. And so, Wang and Yan, five match points. And there it is, at the first time of asking, Wang and Yan take the second game, 21-15. Having taken the first game, 21-16, they'll be delighted, successfully defending their title. But it's still Chang and Chiang from Taipei who lead the Pro Tour standings. And on the women's side, we can see Bai and Yu creeping in in fifth place. But it's still Kim and Kim from North Korea who lead the Pro Tour standings. the China Open, the men's singles semi-final, Janove Waldner of Sweden against Marlin of China. It's the second game, it's 17 all. Marlin took the first game 21-16. Marlin serving. Waldner thought there was a little bit more topspin on the ball, just misjudged it with the bat angle. And so Marlin now leads 18-17, but quite crucially, Voldner, and arguably, Voldner is the best server in the world, has his five serves to come at the end of this second game. Voldner, of course, one of the all-time greats, European champion, world champion, Olympic champion, 1992, 35 years of age. Marlin, world ranked at number three, 22 years of age. Not quite the experience, but certainly at the moment, one of the best players in the world. Volder serving. Volder has great variation with his serves, and I'm sure Marlin will, will have difficulty. He's able to impart various spins, no spin, back spin, side spin, and Volder will be looking to get in as soon as possible. Fantastic topspin from Janove Volner, took the ball off the bounce, but the whole rally was constructed quite superbly by the Swedish player. Topspin against topspin, the chop block at the beginning of the rally, the backhand down the line, but the topspin off the bounce to win the point was an absolutely superb shot. And so Volner now two points out of two from this service sequence, three serves remaining. That should have been a winner. He set it up right there, he did a float serve, should have followed in, but just missed it. He'll be disappointed with that. 19 all, but of course, Volner still 
in the driving seat. He has his two serves still to come. And of course, needs both these points to take the second game. Marlin again, not sure what spin was on the ball and made an error. Valder now 2019 up. Great recovery by Volner. Marlin got him with the top spin, but the counter top spins from Volner were absolutely first class. He takes the second game 21 19, and we now join the third game 17 all. And Volner with his last service in this sequence of five. Big point for Volner. And Marlin was fortunate with the return. The ball just caught the top of the net. And now Mar, with his five serves to come, leads 18-17. Volner taking his time, checking his bat dry, no sweat on the racket. Again, the short service from Marlin, steps round, right round on the backhand side, makes the forehand top spin, totally commits himself, and Volner's block down the line, just misses the edge of the table. Volner there, um, his return of serve wasn't as good as it should have been, it popped up and uh, Marlin then made a winner. Marlin now with three game points. To take a 2-1 lead in this best of five semi-final. The service was long. Volner read the, the direction well, stepped round, made the forehand top spin. One game point save, two remaining. Marlin taking his time. Slight look of frustration on Volner's face. Again, another long service for Marlin. Perhaps he's getting a little bit nervous and not able to keep the service short, but Volner was in. And very unlucky, it didn't touch the edge of the table there. Quite surprising to see the service drifting long. I'm sure this time Mar will either keep it very short or he may throw caution to the wind and try a long, fast service. He now only has one game point remaining. And it was the long service, took Volner by surprise. Volner looks up in amazement. He overhit the forehand topspin. Marlin takes the third game, 21-19, and takes a 2-1 lead in this best of five final. And a wry smile on the coach's face. We now join the fourth set, 17 all. Marlin serving, and what a great flick from Voldner. Read the spin well, stepped round, flicked it down the line. And Voldner now leads 18-17, as indeed he did in the second game. And of course, as in the second game, has the advantage of his five serves to come. Makes it very difficult for the opponent to see the ball. Shields the point of contact with his free arm. Marlin attempting the reverse backhand topspin. New technique developed by the penhold grip players. But Volner now leads 19-17. Oh, a long service there. I think he thought he would just try a long one just to, to break it up a bit. But uh, Marlin was waiting and got him with a good forehand on the diagonal. A little bit of fun by Volner there. The ball bounced twice. Of course, Volner, very popular in China. For the last 15 years, he's been one of the all-time greats, taking on all the various Chinese great players. Very popular, 19-all. Oh! 
And that was a great forehand topspin by Marlin. The serve drifted long. But again, as he did before, great footwork. And that's a superb forehand topspin down the line. But the umpire's called a let service. The Voldner serve must have just glanced the top of the net. Marlin not happy. And there we see the umpire's arm indicating play on. The score still at 19 all. And Voldner there suggesting to Marlin that he plays to the umpires. No question about Voldner's integrity, regarded by all the players as one of the fairest players on the, on the circuit. So the protest very quickly stops. 19 all. And that time, no doubt, the ball caught the top of the net. So a second net service, 19 all. Well, it's getting tight now. I think uh, Volner's got to think about keeping his services tight and he looked to open up with his backhand. I think um, Marlin thought there was a lot of spin on that, but uh, it was a dummy, there was no spin at all and therefore he put it in the net. Brave player to throw the ball up at that stage with no spin. Game point, Voldner. And there it is, the forehand down the line. Clenches his fist in delight. It's now two games apiece. And we go into a fifth and final game. But as we join that fifth game, Marlin leading 17-5. I think Voldner, you know, over the years, he's been a, a, a great player. Obviously, now he's 35 years old. And he's playing against a much younger Marlin, 22. Maybe, you know, he's running out of steam and he's not as fit as he used to be. The last three games have all been 19. A long, hard semi-final for Janove Volner. And now, this semi-final all but over. Wang Li Chin awaits the victor in the final. And it looks as though Volner's going to finish off and entertain the Chinese crowd with a little bit of exhibition play. Right back at the barriers, throwing the ball a good 30, 40 foot into the air. Marlin playing along. And there Voldner saluting the Chinese crowd. Quite incredible that a country the size of Sweden with a population over the last 15 years have produced a player like Voldner who's taken on the millions and millions of Chinese players and their elite. He's very well respected, very well liked. Mm. But I'm sure Marlin now will look to close this semi-final down. And there he does with that forehand topspin. Marlin takes the fifth game, 21-7. But what a great performance by Jan Ove Voldner, 35 years of age. But it's Marlin, well ranked at number three, who takes his place in the final. Welcome back to the China Open for the final of the women's singles between Wang Nan of China, world ranked at number one, and Guo Yuan, world ranked at 33. Wang Nan took the first game 21 16. Guo serving, and she's 8 7 down. Guo having played in only one. ITTF Pro Tour event so far, that being the last one in Croatia where she was the winner, beating teammate Li Nan in the final, three games to one. And they don't come any tougher than her opponent, Wang Nan, the current world champion and Olympic champion. And Wang Nan was in fact beaten in the final of this event last season, losing to teammate Li Ju. So she'll be looking to go one further. A fast and furious rally there. Both of these players will be based in Beijing at the National Centre, so no doubt they know each other's game inside out. So I'm, I'm sure we'll see some exciting rallies here. Yeah. 
Wang Nan, left-handed topspin player, shake hand grip. Very fluent on both wings, very consistent forehand topspin and backhand topspin. Throws the ball around the table, uses side spin to great effect. Like the men's singles, this final, the best of five games. Oh, and that was a great service there by Guo. I think she caught Wang unawares. I think she thought it was going to be a short serve and then at the last minute kicked it off to the, the corner of the backhand side. Again, there we saw trademark Wang Nan play. Fluent backhand and forehand top spins. Managed to recover and take one ball off the net. Guo's world ranking of 33 is a little bit deceiving. She's rocketing her way up the list. And what power there by Wang. She got in with a great forehand from a backhand side right down the line and then she moved like grease lightning and played one from her forehand side on the diagonal. What a great winner. And there again, Wang Nan spraying the ball around the table using side spin to great effect coming across the inside of the ball sending it out wide to Guo's forehand again serving with the forehand from the backhand side oh the placement of, of that backhand then was, was exceptional she's able to put the ball well it seems as though she's able to put the ball wherever she wants it to go but the angle she got on that backhand was was absolutely superb excellent deception in spin from Wang Nan Guo misreading the spin on the ball but Guo certainly giving it everything she's got she's looking to serve getting with strong top spins and of course quite rightly taking a few chances chances she's up against the best player in the world of that there's no question but on that occasion she drilled it into Wang Nan's body won the point but still, Wang leads by one point. The score, 13-14. Again, full marks to Guo. On the backhand, not playing it on the diagonal, down the line. Always giving Wang something to think about. Levels the score at 14 all. Wang stepped round, got into position well, looking to make that forehand topspin down the line. The ball catching the leading edge, flying off the end of the table. Misread that service there. And Guo was in to put it away with a forehand smash. And so now... Guo with a two-point lead. She has the problem now of the Wang service, but of course, Guo will have her serves to come at the end of this second game. A great forehand topspin. Let the ball drop a little bit and then played it out wide to the Guo forehand. 15-16, Guo will be looking to take two points from these next four. She'll be very happy with an 18-17 lead and her serves to come. Can she do it? Slightly fortunate. The return wasn't that good from Guo. It popped up, but Wang not quite into position. Footwork wasn't quite as it should have been. And the flick went off the end of the table. 15-17. rally there. Wang was plugging, Guo into the backhand, fast and furious, and then when she saw her running round, she played one wide on the forehand. In fact, she's won quite a lot of points wide on a forehand, uh, Wang against Guo. This time, Wang's footwork 
was excellent into position the service was misread by Gould popped it up 17 all Gould of course has her five serves to come this is the last service in this sequence of five a big point for both players Gould's return just caught the top of the net acknowledges her good fortune but now has her five serves to come and Guo leads 18-17 again that uh, ball wide into the forehand another point for Wang levelling the score Again, great use of the angles by Wang. The flick return into the backhand. The forehand topspin wide to the forehand. Excellent use of the angles. Wang takes two points against the service. I'm sure Guo here will be looking to get in with a strong topspin behind the serve. Probably a short service. That's exactly what she did. The service perhaps a little long. But Wang with a safe topspin into Guo's backhand. Guo punched it. And now the score is level 19 all. A let service, the ball just caught the top of the net. Both players quite happy with the decision. Placement from Guo into the body of Wang. Wang played that forehand topspin from a cramped position. The ball caught the leading edge, flew off the end of the table, and Guo now has a game point to level this final at one game all. And she went for the backhand topspin. Just mistimed it, fractions of a second, that's all that's involved. And the score's level 20 all, and of course now it's alternate serving. And the first player to win two clear points. Wang to serve first. A long return from Guo there. Then Wang was able to come in with a hard third ball. Classic tactics, the short serve, followed in with a strong forehand topspin. And now it's Wang Nan who has a game point to take a two games to nil lead. And there it is, spraying the ball around the table. The backhand down the line was the winner. Wang Nan takes the second game, 22-20, and a 2-0 lead. And we join the third game, and perhaps as expected, Wang Nan leading 19-7. Guo was so close to taking that second game. She had a mountain to climb at two games to nil down. And perhaps... As we would have expected, Wang Nan running away with this third and what will be final game. And an exhibition point to finish off this final... Wang Nan takes the third game, 21-8. She lost in the final one year ago, but it's still Kim of North Korea who leads the Pro Tour standings. Guo having won the Croatia, and now losing in the final in China takes fourth place on the Pro Tour standings. the final of the men's singles Marlin leads 13-9 in the fourth game and by two games to one his opponent it doesn't come any tougher the world champion Wang Li Chin and it looks like we could be heading for a surprise and indeed there Wang Li Chin misreading the spin 
forehand topspin off the end of the table. Ma leads 14-9. And what a great angle Wang got on that receiver of service, playing it really wide out to the, the backhand. And Ma Lin not able to get in the right position to play a good stroke. No doubt that Wang Li Chin, the player in form last season, he was the winner in China, Japan, America, Denmark, won the Pro Tour finals. And already this season, he's played in one Pro Tour event in England, he was the victor. But he's in a difficult situation here, two games to one down, 14-11 down. Of course, Marlin world ranked at number three, 22 years of age. Winner of the World Cup last season. However, Marlin still to win his first ITTF Pro Tour event. He was runner-up in Japan last season. Good disguised serve there by Wang. Putting a lot of backspin on the ball. Marlin just pushing it into the net. Chin, only one point behind. Again, he just overhits that forehand topspin from wide on the backhand side. The footwork was good. The technique was good. Just tried to hit the ball a little bit too hard. And now Ma, two points in the lead. Mars forehand topspin just caught the top of the net. Flicked the ball off the end of the table. Wang now with his final service in this sequence of five. Popped the ball up there, Wang, and Marlin was in there like a shot. A great forehand. And so now Ma, with his five serves to come, leads 16-14. Only needs one more game to take this very prestigious men's singles title in front of his own crowd here in China. And a great forehand there. Such power Wang has. His footwork is so quick. And his arm movement moves so fast, so much power in that stroke. Oh, great variation from Wang. The last two or three times when he stepped round on the backhand side, he's gone down the line. This time on the diagonal, wide into the backhand of Ma. And the score's level. That's two points out of two against the service. Brave play from the world ranked number one player. A lucky net ball. I think he needs every point now. Again, amazing footwork, this time by Ma. The return was good from Wang, it was wide into the backhand. But electric footwork from Marlin. And he drilled that ball into the body of Wang Li Chin. As Ma indicated, the Wang return just caught the edge of the table, a thick edge. And now... Wang Li Chin, 18-17 in the lead, and quite crucially, he has his five serves to come. Ma's going to have to be positive and brave on the return of serve. Maybe take a few chances. Wang's first serve in this sequence of five. Oh, and that was an error there by Marlin. I don't think Wang put him under a lot of pressure. Now, whether he's getting nervous, I'm not sure, but uh, that was one point 
He shouldn't have lost. Of course, Mar led 14-9. And now finds himself 2017 down in the fourth game. Wang Li Chin, three games to level this final at two games all. And Wang, of course, the advantage of service. That forehand topspin should have been a winner. The return was a little bit high. Wang's topspin just caught the top of the net, flicking the ball off the end of the table. One game point save, two remaining. Wang attempting the short push, just caught the top of the net and came back onto his side of the table. Two game points saved, 2019. And there we have, very interesting. Neither of these players have a coach, being an all Chinese final. Wang Li Chin has called a timeout. Each player is entitled to do that on one occasion during a match. And they take a one minute break. Interesting tactics from Wang Jill. A good time for a timeout? Well, I think so. He's 2 uh, 1 down, although he's uh, 20 19 up. He's got to win this game to, to stay in the match. So I think he will be trying to compose himself having lost the last two points and, and be thinking very seriously about uh, what service he's going to do and what follow-up. So it's probably very, very crucial for him and, and also to probably break up the momentum of Marlin. And certainly Marlin has done well on the last two points. An excellent return of service at 2018, read the spin well, kept it tight. Very delicate touch skills required to do that. But nevertheless, both players now back at the table. And Marlin still faces one game point. Wang Li Chin serving for this fourth game to take this final into a fifth and deciding game. And what an amazing serve under pressure. The fast service down the line, the topspin taken off the bounce, and Wang Li Chin takes the fourth game 21 19. And now the final goes into the fifth and final game. And it's Wang Li Chin who leads 15-6. Psychologically for Ma, but there's a bitter blow the fourth game. He should have taken this final 3-1. And now, of course, Wang Li Chin very much in the driving seat, leading 16-7. Quite amazing at the recent World Championships in Japan in the team event. Wang Li Chin in the quarter-final lost to Timo Boll of Germany. And such is the strength in China, they were able to drop him. He didn't get a place in the semi-final team or the final against Belgium. And here he is responding. Having won the individual men's singles title at the Worlds. He's now looking strong favourite to take the men's singles title here in China. And that was another great forehand from the backhand side on the diagonal. Although looking at Marlin, he does look a bit dejected and uh, you can feel for him being 2-1 up and had chances in the fourth game. That was magnificent play by Marlin. The reverse backhand topspin for the penal grip player. A new technique. And then he followed him with some strong forehand topspins. But I'm afraid, but for a miracle, this men's singles title going to the world number one player, Wang Li Chen. And he now moves one point nearer to that title. What a, and what a great rally there. Both of them playing the ball very, very early off the bounce, playing all around the table. Footwork moving really fast. Ah, what a recovery from Wang Li Chin to the delight of the Chinese female players there on the bench watching their two teammates. A Wang Li Chin now, 11 game points, 11 match points indeed, to take this men's singles title here in China. And a service error from Marlin, and Wang Li Chin takes the men's singles title winning the fifth and final game, 21-9. Marlin came so close in the fourth game. He had a five-point lead towards the end, but it's Wang Li Chin who takes the title 
And indeed, it's teammate Ma Wang who leads the ITTF Pro Tour standings. I'm sure we'll see Wang Li Chin rocket up these standings. And we'll be back soon with more top-class table tennis.